hello guys welcome to tech mode and today what we are going to do is that basically we will be uh, making and making a weather app in node.js and it will be a very less than in five minutes i'd say and it's probably the the, the probably the less code approximately 20 lines that and you uh, you can create your own weather application that can show that you can upload to particularly heroku and show show, show them to your particular friends so how this application works first of all uh, the things we are going to cover is that we'll store node.js and all and uh, we will get some api where we will get some weather api and productions information we'll consume this api and show this api in a particular endpoint all right let's start with the demo so first of all what you have to do is that uh, you must install uh, node.js first of all so just go to nodejs.org/en and download the latest word version all right so, so now suppose uh, you have node installed you can just go to check no, your version i have 4.2.2 installed and you can have 6. Point something or probably the latest one if you if you wanted to install i will i would suggest you to go with uh, 6.11.0 all right right now what you have to do is that you have to get some api point to get the weather right so i what i have chosen is that i have chosen this openweathermap.org so this website will give you uh, this is the this website will give you basically the weather based on your location all right so right now i'm in india and you can see uh, this is the endpoint when you hit when you hit particularly if i open it so it will give you information in json uh, in xml right so what we can do is that we will we can change to js all right so probably it's giving error but uh, yeah so uh, we can get the information in json or, or uh, also because json is much more easy to get converted all right so i have this uh, api open right now with me and this is an api uh, this is the endpoint you can say and here i have entered my location this is my city and this is the country code of country code of my app all right so uh, this is the uh, as you can see uh, just go to the iso and here you will have country code so for example if you are in australia you can google and this is your country code all right and what you can do is that just enter your city name with plus sign and your country code and after that you need to have your uh, uh, api api key what you can do is just sign up in open weather map they will provide you certain keys like this one and this one all right and what you have to do is that just append these apis to it all right and after that what we have to do is that you have to uh, add units in metric so metric means it will give the temperature and all in celsius all right so right currently right now as you can see here that uh, 36 degrees celsius is going currently all right and my city is as you can say my city is new delhi and uh, this is the date time and you can say it's giving more information like sunset sunrise all right so let's consume this api in node.js and probably will write very less code according to it all right so let's do one thing i have already created the i have this full-fledged working uh, project right now with me so what we'll do is that uh, we'll start with basics so we'll make it directory let's call it let's call it weather uh, weather now all right let's cd in. let's cd into directory all right so let's start we have an empty directory right now we are going to start with npm in it all right and i want its name to weather now okay so they are not allowed capital letter now so let's make it small the person same and everything by default i just enter 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 and it's good all right so now i have a packet.json okay so what we do is that uh, let me op open this project okay so let me open this project in, in my visual studio code you can use any code editor you want all right but i prefer this one so let's do one thing let's create a new file and name it at app.js all right and what let's go to the command line and install certain packages so we have to install a request all right let's save it to packet rotation so minus s and it will take a seconds 
installed. All right. As you can see, node modules is created and we have the package JSON request is added. All right. So let's start with the basics. Uh, what we are going to use that uh, basically what we want is that whenever we visit a particular URL, like a particular URL and a port, uh, we wanted to see city name, sunset and temperature basically. All right. So what we what we can do is so what we have to do is that uh, we have to use uh, we have to have a certain kind of server where we wanted to see it all right so what we can do is that we can leverage this uh, we just go to f.js and we type stpp we can what we can do is that we can require the node.js stpp method right if you don't know much about it what you can do is that uh, uh, in the api documentation you can go to node docs of node go to 6.11 all right and they this is the this is the module that we are going to use stpp all right and this is how they have mentioned it all about you can read about it but i'll show you how i am going to we are going to use so we'll just import the uh, stpp and let's make a particular url our api url all right this is our api url this is uh, right now as you can see this one so here i have entered URL. So what we have to do is that we have to create our server. So how we can create a server? We can use stpp dot create server, and it has a two parameter that is request and a rec response. Every as every server should have a request and response. All right, and it will not and actually. It uh okay and i messed up something so basically create server takes a function and it has the request and response all right i ju i just got it all right and here we have to close this everything now i have this we are done this okay Function is also wrong. Okay. All right. Now we are okay. So we have to write our logic here. All right. This is a comment in JavaScript. All logic will go here. Right. And this server should listen to something. Right. So we will listen is to 8081. Okay. So now we have a server running and how we can check this if it is working or not before making any response uh, any kind of so we can do is that uh, we'll use this object and we can use write and say hi every time and we have to close this also right uh, to end it up after it so what we can do is that uh, just go to node app.js and it will start listening uh, let's go to 8081 it's saying hi right so our server is running and uh, it can show if we go to a particular url it will it will be able to show us everything right it means that what we have written app.js let's kill it with command c let's uh, write our code to get weather weather application right what we have to do is that we have to import our require uh, request module so that we have installed previously with the npm i have in, imported here now i can use the request module to make a request right yeah so how request work is that you have to uh, it takes the url first parameter the url that we have already declared and it takes the it gives you back a function which will contain basically first parameter is error second parameter will be your response type something and third will be the body part right that be some extra all right okay looks fine so what we did just cut it down and paste it here I don't want anything and we have to close this right 
yeah so now what you, what you will do is what it will do is that it will just uh, make a request let's do one thing let's debug this first of all let's see what kind of body we are getting in console all right so return console okay let's do con let's run the app again refresh this page hi is coming and we are getting the response in json right in console right so now what we have to do we just what we can do is that this is a json response and so what we have to do is that create a data variable and we have to pass this json and we'll pass the body uh, and now i'm going to write certain things uh, let me cheat here what i can do is that i have already written certain code let me sh get back to you all right so this is the code that i have been using and let's move back to our old application right and this is our so uh, what i have done is that nothing i have done just uh, made prettify i just return certain html in the response where i will be writing data dot name name will be contain this part uh, let's come to this api and as you can see name is this one right so i have already like may created this object with uh, and i can try different different things like okay what the variables are giving so data dot main temp is giving me the temperature in celsius uh, so i have this convert this uh, this uh, time stamp into a uh, date using new date function and i can get the sunset time right now so let's do now let's do one thing let's run our application again and see if we are getting the results all right so now we are getting the results so it's city name new delhi temperature right now is 30 36 degree sunset will be at uh, probably a 722 all right so this is uh, as you can see it's less than less than 17 lines yeah right uh, probably 16 line now. and you have created your first node application with a server that you can deploy to a particular server and you will get to know the result of your particular city every time right okay so let's move on uh, thank you guys and do let me know if you have any concern or anything that you wanted to know or probably any issue all right thanks a lot